Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi begins his five-state visit of South India from Monday. He will launch development projects worth around $12.8 billion. The major focus of the projects will be in the power sector. Prime Minister Modi will visit Bhavini, the Bharatiya Nabhikya Vidyut Nigam Limited in Tamil Nadu. Bhavini has developed the nation's first indigenous fast breeder reactor in Kalpakkam in Tamil Nadu. DD India's Tapas Bhattacharya reports. In a significant stride towards energy independence and sustainability, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to witness a historic event, the initiation of co-loading at the nation's first indigenous fast breather reactor in Kalpakkam in Tamil Nadu. Developed by Bhavini, the Bharatiya Navikya Vidyut Nigam Limited, this prototype fast breather reactor or PFBR marks a remarkable step forward in India's nuclear power program. What sets this reactor apart is its unique capability to produce more fuel than it consumes. This groundbreaking feature paves the way for self-reliance in fuel supply for future fast reactors, aligning perfectly with India's three-stage nuclear power program, which emphasizes a closed fuel cycle. But it's not just about energy production, it's about doing so responsibly. With minimized nuclear waste and advanced safety features, prototype fast breather reactors offer a safe, efficient and clean source of energy. They are not just power generators, they are contributors to the goal of achieving net zero emissions. Later in the day, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address a public meeting in Chennai underscoring the importance of this milestone in India's energy journey. This event symbolizes India's commitment to a sustainable and secure energy future. This milestone at the Kalpakam Fast Breeder Reactor signifies India's commitment to nuclear power advancement with the potential to lead in thorium utilization and achieve self-sufficiency in fuel supply. It also underlines India's stride towards clean and efficient energy production, bolstering its position in the global nuclear landscape. With Kyle Person, Jai Shankar, this is Tapas Bhattacharya for DD India from Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu. And Tapas Bhattacharya now joins us from Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Tapas, uh, briefly, how has nuclear power, once considered so very dangerous by many nations, become a very accepted source of clean energy the world over? Well, when you're talking about the, you know, the, uh, the source of, uh, you know, it's not, it was considered dangerous, it was considered dangerous uh, in the 70s, 80s, uh, it, to an extent in the 90s. But uh, since then, uh, the, it, uh, the, the technology has advanced uh, rapidly. In fact, the generation third uh, in technology that is currently being used in this particular fast breeder reactor is considered one of the most uh, safest in not just in the country but also in the world. And at the same time, uh, you know, you mentioned the fact that it is now considered uh, clean. Uh, let's just put it this way: Have you ever heard about an uh, energy source which, uh, while you are, you know, burning it? you actually double the energy or you actually increase the uh, energy consumption well it doesn't happen but in this case it is actually happening a uh, your this is a second stage of uh, nuclear reactor uh, fast breeder reactors are considered second stage reactors uh, what the fuel that is used it's used from the first uh, uh, first uh, first generation of nuclear reactor which is the ref, uh, you know re refuel usage of uh, the uh, the the uh, the fuel that is already there. So uh, the reuse of the particular fuel of the first uh, uh, first uh, uh, part of the rea nuclear reactor is being used in the second uh, uh, in this particular fast breeder reactors, and it actually increases the f uh, fuel consumption. So the kind of fuel that you require further, uh, you actually burn you, but you at the same time you increase the fuel consumption at the same time. So uh, in a way, it is quite uh, strange, and it's it's one of the uh, you know technological high uh, that uh, Indian scientists have developed uh, probably it's the second time uh, uh, you know commercially they have uh, done this uh, in, in a, in a proto from the prototype to commercial uh, viability uh, and after I think uh, Russia the, the India is the second country to have um, uh, you know master this technique and the third part uh, it is important to note that uh, this is just the second uh, part uh, the third part is to you know increase it to uh, to uh, make it thorium based uh, nuclear reactor now thorium is uh, is, is a component that is quite uh, 
uh, a, like quite uh, heavily uh, available in India. In fact, it is 40% uh, of world's thorium is available in, in the country. So uh, the idea of uh, Homi Bhabha was to create a nuclear fissile material based on thorium and we are on course to achieve that particular dream, Tanvi. Hmm. And Tapas, how important is nuclear power in India's overall energy scenario currently and how far is its importance likely to grow in the foreseeable future? Well, uh, you know, quite a valid point. Uh, just to put it into pr perspective, you know, you're talking about uh, this, in, uh, you know, nuclear power is considered the fifth most used uh, power source in the country. And India, as you all know, that is going towards net zero consumption, net zero neutrality by 2070. And uh, nuclear energy is considered one of the most uh, secure means to achieve that. The first, as I mentioned, you already mentioned the fact that here is a technology where you can use a particular fuel, a reprocessed fuel already that is being used, and then again get more fuel out of that. So that is one part of it. And as I mentioned, you know, if, if you use thorium based, and if you, uh, you know, if you have a, a you know reserve of thorium, which is as I mentioned, forty more than forty percent of world's thorium is available in the country, and if you use that, you will have uh, more than six hundred to seven hundred years of uh, electricity, free electricity uh, that can be done. And uh, again, uh, you know, this this is a technology that uh, a lot of countries were working to get, get for but uh, you know in india is as i mentioned is the second country to achieve a milestone in that regard and prime minister narendra modi uh, will be witnessing history uh, tomorrow as uh, as it, it, it you know it moved towards a, a, a second a second stage of uh, consumption uh, of this particular uh, fast breeder reactor a commercial fast breeder reactor in the country thank you tapas for those updates